in this video we'll see the projections of inclined planes before just going to the projection part let me show you what an inclined plane is so inclined plane is a plane which is perpendicular to either of the three principal planes and then it is neither perpendicular nor parallel to the remaining two planes as it is known we have three principal plane that is vertical plane horizontal plane and profile plane normally vertical plane is for a front view horizontal will be for a top view and then profile plane will be for the side view so if the plane is an inclined plane that means it will be perpendicular to either of these three planes but it may not be perpendicular or it may not be parallel to the other two planes so when you see here now this plane is perpendicular to the horizontal plane but it is not parallel or perpendicular to the remaining plane that means for the vertical and the profile plane for the second case if you look at this plane this plane is perpendicular to the profile plane but it's not for vertical and horizontal plane at the same time it's not parallel to vertical horizontal or a profile plane and then for the second case this plane is normally perpendicular to the vertical plane but it's not for profile and horizontal plane so this is an inclined plane which is really perpendicular to the vertical plane and then it's not parallel or perpendicular to the other plane that means for the profile and for the horizontal plane so when the plane is inclined plane so it will be perpendicular to one of the three principal plane when we come to just the projections of inclined planes now it will be very clear if we just use an example here so the example is illustrated here that means locate the given triangle in a standard coordinate system and then sketch their front top and side projection using first angle projection system the triangle abc is given with its coordinate point that means a is 446 b 746 and c 752 that means that the coordinate system and then the unit is also in centimeter along x y and z respectively so this is the question so how we could first locate this triangle in the 3d axis system that means on the standard coordinate system so it is known that the y coordinate system will be drawn or sketched in the vertical way and then the other one will be sketched from 120 degree now the axis system along x y and z can be constructed in this way once we do that we can construct the positions of point a b and c on this coordinate system so the positions of point a is four centimeter in the x that means from history we measure four centimeter and then once we measure that we measure four centimeter too for the y coordinate system so we'll measure four centimeter and then finally in the z direction we'll measure six centimeter so once we get that point the end points of this one will be point a so we can place point a here and then for point b it is seven centimeter in the x so we'll measure seven from here to here and then we'll measure four from here to here in the y and then in the z we'll measure six centimeter and then finally we get this point and then we can refer this as a point b and then for point c the same procedure can be happened that means in the x is seven centimeter so from here to here it will be seven and then in the y is five centimeters so we'll measure five here and then in the z we'll measure two centimeter once we do that we can get c point so once we get that we can just connect this uh, pointers finally we'll have this triangle so this is just the locations of the given triangle abc on the standard coordinate system and then the other one to have the front top and side projection we can use the first time as the equation say that use the first angle projection system that means if the front view is here the top will be below the front view and then the right side view will be on the left sides of the front view now let's project it on the vertical plane that means for a front view so for this case we'll project all pointers a b and c on the vertical plane so finally we'll get this uh, point projection that means a will be a front that means front views of a for front views of b and for front views of c will be projected on vertical plane once we get the three pointers we can connect and then finally we'll get this plane and then for the top view we can project it on the horizontal plane that means once we project the three pointers we'll get a t b t and c t that means t means for top views of each point 
So once we get that pointers, we can connect them. And then finally, this plane will be the projections of the given plane ABC on the horizontal plane. And the same procedure can be applied for the side view. And then when we project it into the side view, that means on the profile plane, we can get the projections of each point. So point A and B in this case are aligned or overlap at the same place. And then there will be AR, BR. That means the right sides of point A and point B. And then point C, the right sides of point C will be projected over here. And then if you just connect them, you'll get edge here. So this edge is the projections of the triangle. And then finally, when you look at that, it will be just as a line. Once you have this, just if you just unfold the plane, we'll get three principal views. That is a front, a top, and a side view. So to do that, just we can construct a 2D layout of the drawing. That means a multi-view drawing of the given plane. So the front view will check X and Y coordinate system. So for point A, it's now 4 cm in the X and 4 cm in the Y. So 4 cm from here to here, and then we'll construct a vertical line. And then for vertically, we can measure also the Y that is 4 cm. So, and then we can construct a horizontal line. That intersection point will be just the positions of point A when it is on its front view or it is on the vertical plane. So this one will be AF. So once we get that for point B, we can project from here to it's 7 cm. And then vertically, it's just 4, it is equal to point A. So it will be connected at this point. And then that intersection point will be for BF. That means the front views of point B. And then for point C, it's in the X at 7. So from here to the 7. So in the Y direction, it's 5 cm. So in the Y, once you measure 5 cm, you can just construct a horizontal line and finally you can get this point. So this intersection point is the front views of point C. So once we get this, we can just connect them. And then finally, we can get this plane. This plane is just the front views of the given triangle ABC. Now, this one and this one are the same, but in the first case, that means this is on the 3D position, but this one is in the 2D position or in the multi-view position. For the top view, we can just project the top views of the three pointers on this. So finally, we can get what will be the views of that triangle. So for point A, on the top view, we'll use X and Z coordinate system. Since in the X position, we have this vertical lens, we, we don't need to measure it again. And then for the Z position, it is 6 cm. So from here to here, we'll measure 6 cm and then we'll construct a horizontal line in this way. So point A will be here. So this is 80 means top views of point A. And then at the same case, point B is also 6 cm in the Z. So it will be also on the same distance from here to here. And then it will be BT, that means top views of point B. And then for point C, the Z position is 2, the X is 7. We can use just this vertical line, so we don't need to measure it again. So in the Z, it's 2 cm. So from here to here, it will be 2 cm. And then at that point, we can just place point C. That means the top views of point C. And then finally, we can get this one. So once you connect them, you'll get this triangle. So this is just the top views of the given inclined plane. Now for the side view, we'll use y and z coordinate system so for point a point a four centimeter in the y from here to here that means we can just use this horizontal line because it is measured with four centimeter from here to here and then in the z it is six so at this point we can just place a r that means the right sides of point a since point a and point b have the same length for the z dimension so they will be aligned over here this point will be a r and b r that means the right sides of the two pointers and then for point C, we can use this horizontal line. And then from here to here, we'll measure 2 cm. And then at that position, we'll get point C. That means the right sides of point C. So finally, once we connect those pointers, we can get this edge. So when you see over here, there are two planes here on the top and then on the front view, but they are foreshortened. They are not on the same distance as the object has. And then the other one on one view, they make just an edge here. So this is just the property of inclined plane. An inclined plane make two planes on two views and then it will make one edge on one view. So among the three, one will be edge and then two will be plane just like this one. So projections of inclined planes and it's like this. See you soon.